What's up, everybody, and welcome to this special Christmas Eve edition here on Torque Drift on the mobile platform. So, Christmas is just a day away, but I figured I want to do a little Christmas Eve special for you guys here on Torque Drift. If you notice in the background, we got an R32, and I say it's a Christmas Eve special because we have back here nine Christmas crates to open. We're going to be opening some presents here on Torque Drift. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. we got nine Christmas crates to open here for this episode, and we're just going to open them up, see what we got, see what we can get. I know there's a lot of cool snow, like that snowflake alloy, the gingerbread man alloy, you know, the decals and everything. So we're going to see what we can get for our 32 here in this Christmas Eve special. First Christmas crate open, and we get gingerbread decals, some wrapping paper decals. So definitely kind of cool to get some different decals to do, you know, some interesting Christmas you know, steam liveries for our next one. We got more decals. We got a gingerbread house, a gingerbread cookie present, and candy canes. But we already had that from last year, so we did get some money. So we got seven more to open. So if you guys are enjoying all the Christmas stuff, let me know down in the, you know, the comment box down below. We got a decal, which we already have. We have a glove and some more wrapping decals. I'm hoping to get some of the wheels. That would be awesome to get some of the wheels. So, open, oh, we almost didn't open that. Opening up this final one here. We got five more after this. We got a bunch of decals on this one and some stickers. So, we got five more. So, I hope you guys are excited for Christmas if you celebrate the Christmas season. Hopefully, you guys are you know, going to get what you guys wanted for Christmas because we got some more decals and stuff. We got four more, but we haven't pulled a wheel yet kind of upset about that even more wrapping stuff which we already had unfortunately we haven't pulled any of the you know alloy wheels some more decals some more decals and some more cash we got two left I'm gonna be sad if I don't accidentally pull a wheel some more decals final Christmas box here for this episode hopefully wheels maybe no wheels we didn't pull any wheels on our Christmas crates so unfortunately no wheels on our Christmas crates we got a bunch of liveries and stuff like that that we can mess with so if you guys followed my earlier video I did finally complete the gingerman challenge was able to get that done with some of you guys' help without you know with the, the gear placement and not using handbrake and stuff like that it's a big thank you to you guys in the comment section for helping me out and getting that challenge completed so we do have the R32, which we are going to be doing a build on. Now, we don't have really any money to spend on it. It's kind of stock. And it's saying our power is over because, well, we had a turbo. So we're going to boost up even more. So, we'll see what we can buy for it so far. Apparently, well, we're going to be able to buy some at least aftermarket parts of this thing. Yep, I'm going to buy as many of the aftermarket parts as we can. And we're going to instant buy that. Instant buy that. Instant buy that. I already have the import clutch. Instant buy and instant buy. What else can we do? So we could, now we have upgrade. We have the ability to upgrade other stuff. But we don't have cash for that. So we're going to go with what we have right now which is pretty much aftermarket parts and well factory motor can we I don't we don't have nowhere near enough money to buy a motor so let's just go with what we got and see how the car handles on this basically fresh build because you know we're gonna be doing intent a full build on this R32 so we're going to go try it out, see how it drives. So I hope you get, like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. We are going to try and drive this R32. I feel like we should probably, I don't think it's going to be good at Tunnel Edge, but we're going to take it to Tunnel's Edge and find out. Throwing us right into the mix. Throwing that tunnel, 382 horsepower in our R32. Not a high powered car. So definitely going to be 
an uphill battle or a downhill battle here at Tunnel's Edge with a little snowy environment around us. Kicking into third. Kick it sideways. Let's see what we can do with a low powered R32. You don't need super amounts of power to actually get good slides. I'm surprised we did not lose our points there, but we are going to have to flick transition that back because well, we don't have enough power to run that all the way out to the wall, and there's the wall tap. So out of the box with just some mild upgrades, this car is pretty fun to drive. It gets it gets down, and you know, respectable 67,000 in Tunnel Edge with this car to start off, or 72. Now, of course, he definitely got a way better lead than us with more power, but we're going to try and chase him down anyways. So, kind of impressed with how this R32 is out of the box. We're kind of able to keep up, oh, but the angle, angle right there is where we lose it. I kind of angled the car up way too much to kind of keep tabs with this 180. Probably should be in fourth at this point. Oh, he biffed it in the wall too. I followed him right into her. Right, you know, roads are slippery. There's uh, some snow on the ground. So, for the first run out, I'm actually very impressed with how this R32 handles. So, we're going to give it another go and try and actually probably shift in the fourth through that long section and try and keep in drift through the whole thing. Yeah. So, we definitely lost. But, it's very, very good for, you know, just the start. Like I said, this car is going to be built up. So, got a, a set of course, a Christmas video coming out tomorrow. Looks like we're going to have the same guy again. So, we're going to try this again. We got to try and get a good clean run, though. Kick it in the third. Initiate in. Flick it out. Get our clips. Transition there. Stay off the wall this time. Flick back. Oh, oh, too much of a tail tap. Unfortunately, that kind of kind of ripped us in there. But man, we would have probably had a very good solid run if we wouldn't have smacked into the wall. I mean, much better run than last time. Not the greatest because we tapped the wall. But 88 to 82. We got a chance to redeem ourselves in this run. As long as we can actually have a good chase and not over rotate ourselves, we may actually be able to come out with a W against him. Oh, well, a little bit of a slow start for him. So we didn't over rotate there. Kind of got to cut the angle. That cone was kind of messing with my car. And I'm trying to not. Biff it into the wall. Kind of lose him there. But kind of we're able to. Oh, he ran wide there. There we go. I don't think we're gonna be able. To, we 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 kind of we kind of put our way through. We might might have been able to come out with a W in this run. I'd be very excited. First W with the R32. Maybe. Survey says we did. 125 to 104. So we went one and one with him. So you're going to want to go again. You could go one more time and do best of three. Maybe. Survey says. I don't think he wants to go. So we're going to try to find somebody else. And see what we can do. Are we gonna find somebody? Maybe not. I'm gonna do the back trick. There we go. 471 horsepower is 14. This is a little bit more of our caliber of power for sure. So let's try and fix this run and make it clean. Shade in. There we go, got those. 
Ooh, gotta stretch it out. Stretch it up. Angle it out. Kinda wanna stay away from biffing into that wall. So we came out short here. So we do have the clean lead, but nowhere near the points that we would have had otherwise. But once again in the 80s. Probably gonna be the final run here for this episode 91 to 65. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Appreciate all the support and you guys coming back to the channel and watching all these videos. Hope you guys are having a very merry holiday. So we're gonna see what we can do on this S15. Blue Vest had 14 earlier, it is a 15. Oh, ow. Smack of the base into the back end of that man. Probably should shift into fourth gear through that section. But I am definitely loving how this R32 is driving right now. Cannot wait to get more parts on this car and do a full solid build on this car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little Christmas Eve special here on Tour Drift. Open some presents. Didn't get what I wanted, but we got some cool things. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.